Oof. I'm just doing the top. I won't get. I won't do it down and get in our way. Just because I can't stand stopping. Yeah, that's, that's hot. Gonna get... Getting ready to get hot, brother. I know. I'm just getting the top th top half right now. Still be able to move at the bottom to move the ladder. Well, that's white. That is white through and through right there, buddy. Anyways, we're gonna continue doing this all the way down. You can also do this off of a ladder. Actually, if you don't feel like getting up on a roof, I recommend you getting on a ladder if you don't feel comfortable. Do it from a ladder, just like that. Stand on the rung, put your bucket right there at the bottom, dip it and go. Dip it and go, baby. If your pole won't reach the top, get an extension pole, right, Paul? That's all. Extension. Got one of them, too. I personally think mobile homes are just a awesome, cheap way of living to where, no, I don't mean cheap. I mean, you're not throwing all your damn money away on a, a huge house, brick house that you don't even use. Why? Well, I, I don't want to spend all the money that I make maintaining my huge, huge ass house that I only use part of. I would much rather live in a mobile home if it was just me by myself i think that's probably what i would live in get me a nice house too big. huh Your house too big. my house is too damn big <laughs> yeah got three extra rooms <laughs> that's right we do we don't even use them <laughs> no no them extra rooms aren't necessarily storage some 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 yeah some Got two bedrooms. Yep. Three bedrooms. Got spare rooms if somebody comes to visit, that's for sure. That's a good thing. Nice and thick. Nice and thick here. We won't never run out of power. Huh? No, man, we got power. Power for days. How many days can you run off of that? I only run about probably a week, ten days. Yeah, 250 gallon. That's if you're not running everything in the house. I don't know though. It runs the same when it's running all the time. So, it's a generac generator. No. Yep. Hell with them suicide cords. <laughs> Plug it from your generator into your wall socket. <laughs> Some people forget to turn the power off when they do that. Ouch. Ouch. You have it? Yeah, you just take two plugs. No, I'm talking about the power from your house feeding to your generator while it's running. No, you won't do that. You can't do it while it's running. You gotta shut your breakers off in the house. Shut the breakers off. That's what I'm saying. If you don't shut your breakers off, what happened? It'll explode. The power back on. It'll explode. The generator or the power? Probably the whole house burned down, man. <laughs> yeah. 
you don't want to do that. That's why you have to shut off the breaker. So if the power does come back on, you don't have to worry about that. That's why you have to flip the breaker. A lot of people forget to flip that breaker off. Yeah, power come back on, you're in trouble. You only want to feed like the receptacles around your kitchen with the generator. Shut off every breaker in the house, including that one. There's not a breaker, you shut off everything. You're just running off the house wiring. It's called the suicide plug for a reason, <laughs> for a good reason. Well, just a ladder situation. Had to move the whole ladder, huh? The only reason why I'm not, I'm leaving the bottom unpainted. I'm now painting the bottom so I can walk back across it. Yeah, I stopped this black in now. Yeah. You did? Doing what? The bottom. Oh, the bottom, okay. <laughs> he's fortunate he has them trees I mean as bad as I hate them he's fortunate to have them cut shading his mobile home yeah. this is going to make a difference though when that sun hits that bedroom down there in the afternoon yeah, yeah. make a big difference this stuff is super reflective super reflective oh yeah oh yeah yes oh my god we did a rubber roof with this stuff oh my god the difference in the heat exchange from that rubber to your knees when you bent down into it lord have mercy it was hot hot before we painted it we painted it and it was you could just put your hand you could sit on it bare ass if you wanted to it made that much difference just by painting it white it made that much difference i was impressed paul with that to be honest with you Yep, making that reflectivity means so much. Talk about reducing your cooling bill in the summertime. Yes, sir. That'll do it. Especially if your home is right out in the hot sun. Oh, yeah. This is amazing turning it white. <clears throat> we had a black EPDM rubber roof that we had put on. We knew we were gonna have to go back eventually and cool seal it. He wanted to make it white, cause it's black. We went up there, man, we tried, we just went from the ladder to the roof. It was like, ho, 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 that's freaking hot. Watch out how you put your knee down. You don't wanna do that in shorts, but as soon as we painted it, it was a whole different house, man. It was just, everything was different about it. We made it white that we could sit on it, put our hand on it, kneel on it, we could not kneel on that stuff. It was terrible. I'm surprised at how far this is going, Paul. Yeah, you put that first coat on. That second coat will go a long ways. And you can 100% see the difference with that second coat on it. I mean, first coat's nice, but boy, that second coat is insane. Sir, nice and thick. Oh, you don't want to do it if it's gonna to rain tomorrow. Now, don't be dumb. Yeah, you need a couple days with there no rain if you're gonna do this to your roof, especially if you're gonna put it on thick as you need it. Put it on thick, maybe in 24 hours, but if you put it on good and thick, you don't want any rain for 48 hours at least. The stuff has to dry through and through, so it doesn't just wash off of your house. Like apparently it had been doing, Paul. Huh? Yeah. Right, right. Right. Sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. 
They're still wet, right? Is it? Just forget about it. Yep, you can do it from the ladder. It's the only other way, Paul. Be the best way, really. Move down the edge every three feet or so. Yep. All right, as far as I can go too. Be able to see it up here. Oh man, I'm gonna read that black. No, sir, we ain't doing that. <laughs> we ain't doing that. Make that thing invisible. Invisible. Uh -oh. What happened? Uh -oh. oh, Paul. <laughs> Blowing freaking wind. God. <laughs> Blowing wind. I hope that rec wasn't recording. <laughs> We got our second bucket out and we are going a lot thicker with this run. A lot thicker. Don't leave gobs. You don't want to leave gobs just thicker. If you're out in the sunlight, it will dry off pretty quick. Uh, it's some bright white right there. I'm about to put on my sunglasses. By the time you get in your good second coat on there, you shouldn't be able to see any metal or shouldn't be able to see through it at all at that point. First coat, yes, you can see through it. He's cruising. Do me a big dip and I just run me a bead right down the middle where I still have room to walk for about that much and that's pretty much gobs and then I go between where I didn't get it go through it each time going up 
Come back down, make sure it's getting on there good and thick. Good and thick. Top to the bottom. We already did the top down through there, so it's got the bottom half to come back to. If you can't see through it anymore, you did good. Oh boy. I know the phone won't leave me alone. I had to leave a message. I just not in a good spot to answer a phone or write down anything, so. Yeah, when you can't see through it anymore, you did your job well. Wait till we get out in that sun down there. Whew. Some people now you got to watch them they'll come up here and sling this stuff on and don't even care i care so much about you i want to make sure that your job is done just like i would do my own job on my own house because if you don't then you're cheating somebody i'm not a cheater i don't like cheating This is my house until I'm finished with it. When I'm finished with it, I want it to be as good as mine. If I had done my own. That's just all there is to it. So right now, this is my house. It has to be sealed, tight, bright, white, baby. And then I'll be happy. What's that, Paul? It's gonna be white, gonna be white ain't it, Paul? It's gonna be white. Sealed tight and bright white, baby. That's what I'm talking about. We still got to get down. Oh, I can't go much past this. Can't go past my ladder. I won't be able to get off the roof. Paul, that would not be good. Hmm. Guess I'll go to the other end and come back this way. Down there? Okay. Okay, I'll come over there. You do the bottom. I'll come over there. I'm putting it down. I'm gonna use yours. Use yours, Paul. Boy, this thing is looking good. Right now, like I say, you can see through it. That's our first coat. First coat. You will not be able to see through the second coat. What's that, brother? If you do, you're cutting a hole in it. Yeah, if you do, you're cutting a hole in it. We don't want to do that. See here? See how you can see there? I hope it comes out on camera. And then it turns like that. That's what you want right there. That's nice, thick, and bright white. Second coat. Done, everybody. I don't think we have about. 12 30 eight four and a half hours today six hours yesterday two men probably about nine gallons we still got a gallon left cool seal so two buckets you could do this as a homeowner on your own um, and uh, do it like we did or from a ladder like i mentioned you can do it from the edge of that ladder just stand on it put your bucket on the roof dip it and move on down as you go um you probably end up paying a grand total by yourself less than four hundred dollars you hire somebody you shouldn't probably pay over about i mean i'm charging eight but this is a friend of mine i'm not gonna lie it's a friend of mine i'm gonna probably charge him about 800 bucks uh i think the last one i did was a little bit different and uh we charged thirteen hundred dollars for that one but we also used a different material because we were going over the top of um, EPDM rubber. So it was an expensive material, like $300 a bucket. And you can buy a cool seal for $120 probably. 
um, all day long. Nice and thick. Yes, this thing should not leak anymore. He had definite had some issues he was dealing with, so hopefully that has been taken care of. Like I say, I got about a gallon left out of 10 gallons total. Seams are super important. I'm, I'm, I'm actually getting into my wet stuff that I've done with my feet, so I'm sticking a little bit. I'll kind of paint my way off of this thing. Paint my way off as I am starting to stick. I'm, I probably should have the ladder down below me, but I don't. <laughs> So, make sure I didn't make any marks, and I didn't, so that's good. This stuff will dry fairly, fairly quick. Done, Paul. You got enough? Yeah, done. Completely done, buddy. Yeah, where? Where? I painted all the way to here. Yeah, but did. All right, well, let me get a dip, and then you can take it. I'm done. There you go, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Just be careful because I got paint on my feet. I'm gonna be slippery. Yeah, right. Yeah, I found out about that myself. Oh, hell, a chopper. Sheriff's Department. Looking for any grow such sites out there in the woods. Grow site. Oh, that 420 stuff. Beautiful. This was the worst part because somebody's been trying to fix leaks here for a long time. This was definitely a bad section. Bad section. All right, guys. That's how you cool seal a mobile home. We're done. Thank you very much. Thank you for the work. I love working on mobile homes. I love making people happy. And trust me, you work on somebody's mobile home and you get it right. They will be the happiest people in the daggum world. Um, you, can, you, you can make a millionaire happy, but you can make somebody that's broke or trying to take care of their small investment or a small house or whatever the case may be, they are 10 times as glad and happy than it would be if you worked on a millionaire's home. Um, these people will give you all the praise in the world if you do a good job for them. Huh? Let me get that. Want this? Yeah, a millionaire will say, thank you. Somebody in my situation, Paul's situation, maybe even this guy's situation, I don't even know what his situation is. These people will just praise you to death if you stop their house from leaking and you give them a few years on their place or you help them out in any way. They are so grateful. So thank you for being so grateful. Anybody that I've ever worked on their mobile home before, thank you. I appreciate the work and we will see you on the next one. We have no idea what it will be. So what's next? What's next? What's next? And I get that from my other channel, Scrapping with Grandpa. Go check me out.